why pie charts are bad for business. In this video, I want to look at pie charts and want to give you some advice on how to make them better and also talk about why they can be quite evil. They look quite friendly, these nice little round shaped colored charts, but actually they're really difficult to read and they're not always the best choice for presenting data. And I see this from two perspectives. I help companies with their strategy and their performance and their measurement of their strategy and therefore I quite often get involved in helping businesses produce better reports, better dashboards that help people understand current levels of performance. So I work with analysts helping them to de develop better charts and better ways to visualize data. And I see this from the consuming side. So I, I'm a director, I'm a non-executive director for a number of businesses, so I receive information in performance packs that should give me insights into how well the business is doing. And what I find in practice is that pie charts are completely overused. There are some reasons why you might want to use pie charts. So as children, we're used to them. We slice them in equal slices, as yes, halves or, or quarters or eighths, and we learn fractions in this process. So if we wanted to show a certain percentage out of a whole, like 20% of our customers are unhappy or happy, that's a great way of using a pie chart for. The challenge is that pie charts are not very good to compare different data sets. So if now I have, if I have a survey that says customers are very satisfied and a little bit satisfied, not satisfied, really dissatisfied, and I put this all into a pie chart, I now have all of these categories and my brain finds it really hard to compare them because they are these odd slices. And actually using a bar chart for comparison is better than a pie chart because I can just have all of these categories compared and I can see very easily what the difference is. So for pie charts, if you must use them, I've got some key tips here. The most important one is at least order them in size of your slices. So you either start with the smallest slice and you go to the biggest, or you start with the biggest and you go to the smallest. This then makes the comparison a lot easier. What I see in practice is that pies are produced where you have big ones, small ones, medium ones, all next to each other, which really makes it hard for our brain to understand. The second advice is that when we use tools, they quite often produce legends, so that you have the color on the pie and then a little description of what the color means and, um, and, and what this refers to. So you then have to do some mental work here. You have to look at the color, you read the label, then you look at the pie chart, you have to match the color to whatever's in your legend. So if you have, again, more than three or four colors, it makes it sometimes really difficult. And I've recently seen a pie chart that had about 50 categories on it with the legend. So this is completely impossible to read. And my last tip is never ever use 3D versions of it because we've just learned that the 2D version is difficult enough to understand. If we then make it 3D to make them look slightly more sexy in our performance reporting, it then tilts the dimensions of the pie chart and it makes it even more difficult to read. So. My key advice is try to reduce pie charts to when, you, when they're really useful, when you have a small number of things that you want to represent out of a whole. But in most cases, don't use them because they're difficult to compare, difficult to read, they don't give you a time dimension, and basically never ever use 3D versions of pie charts. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.